G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you may have definitely noticed there has been a bit of uh, absenteeism recently. However, that is going to change because now my life has finally uh, stabilised in terms of having time and things to do. So, yes. So, basically, the long story short, I may release a video of this one day eventually, is I moved house. It took me a long time to get internet because, well, Australia sucks, but now, well, when I say Australia sucks, Australia's internet sucks, the rest of the country's brilliant. Um, but yeah, we've all, all got it now, and we're going to beat some tanks up in our T-43, one of my favourite tier 7 tanks. Okay, so we're on the, the map Windstorm, not one of the, my favourites, but it's uh, not terrible either, and we're just... Um, vying for positions at the moment with my buddy Sabre from RPS at the moment still with Pepcac on the Asian server and we are playing on the Asian server today not the American I've kind of given up on the American server due to population unfortunately we can't land that shot and we take a shot in return which is a bit annoying VK2801 although I'm surprised he's not using the uh, oh he is using the uh, 105mm for, for HA that's a better gun to take on it Trying to go for a shot on the M1 Bulldog, but he's not poking. You can see that shot just glanced off my upper plate before. Must pop, might pop back? No, definitely not. So at the moment we've got uh, most of our teams in the uh, in the town. We've seen this KV-13. I've said to Sabre, look, there's a KV-13 over here. We need to get him. And so we move in on him. He takes one side and I go the other. Good example of teamwork there. Just doing some um, third person shooting there. Unfortunately I don't have the um, gun depression to take his tracks out. And uh, even though Sabre loses most of his health, I, ma I managed to finish him off, saving Sabre in the process. Now Sabre's um, not in the best of situations, so I've told him to hang back for the time being. We uh, find an ISU 122S, which uh, we bounce at Yang. Panzer, flat Panzer. Unable to make the shot. Yeah, the a bit about the tank, the, the overall T-43 is not a bad tank, although the gun is quite average in terms of penetration. Um, gun handling though, it's got a nice aim time of about uh, just, uh, I think it's 2.5 seconds, and the accuracy is a bit average, but uh, the re refire is about uh, just under 5 seconds once you fully upgrade the uh, thing. I'm not sure how that hits, that looks rather... Uh, a bit buggy, but that's okay, we're not going to complain about that. I've told uh, Sabre now we need to move up on this uh, 122S because he is a bit of a dangerous beast, unfortunately. Sorry for the motion blur, I'll have to turn that off in other replays. And there's the 122S. And the funny thing is, he can probably come straight around and um, do some damage to us. Not sure what he's doing here at first, but then I realised he was turning around to shoot Sabre. And uh, he takes Sabre out. But we finish him off. Luckily enough. So, uh, winning at the moment. We're up 8-4. They have mostly TDs left, it seems. They've just lost their IS-3A. And uh, there's a little spot up here that you can take some shots at. There's just an FE-201 down there. Looks like he's AFK or just decided to camp the... Uh... Well, looks like he's not AFK or if he's had disconnect. Not sure where that hit. They must have hit his Kapolos, uh, his uh, turret. Which is fairly strong. Must have finished him off though for kill number four. They're going to be fairly, gonna be fairly, um, fairly cagey here and not play too aggressively, especially since we have a Nashorn, a Ryan Mattel, and a KV-13. 
Now, Cammy Thane before has pretty good front armor, but the side armor is very, very weak. Much like most tanks. Haven't got any shots on him, although we have a shot on the Nashorn. Three weeks, so we just have to auto aim onto him. And he's taken out. So, I haven't got many shots on at the moment. Probably should be moving forward to try and get some more, but right now we don't know where that Rimatel is, and it's a bit of a risky maneuver. Because, especially if he has the um, the 150 mil. Now, yes, he's going to be fairly, fairly odd. I mean, look at this. That probably should have done damage, in my opinion, but. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure how that worked. So, all they've got left is, is two tank destroyers. And we're moving in for the kill. There's the flat panzer up there. He just missed there. He goes into the ground. So we can move forward. We'll probably at least get two shots into him. I'm not too worried if he shoots us again because he's only got the 128. Uh, our shot misses. And we're now firing HE. Oh no. Let me pop around into him. And we finish him off for kill number five. And that's the end of the game. And we'll move on to the post game stats. And that result was a mastery with the following badges. We got the Bruiser for five five kills in battle. Duelist for destroying at least too many enemy vehicles that did damage to our vehicle. Fighter for destroying four or five enemy vehicles in one battle. And five for effect. Um, causing more damage than you have hit points. So... What did we do here? So we earned 32,481 credits and experience with a double, 2,200, uh, sorry, 2,655 XP of the teams. Let's fix that up. So came top of the team in experience and in almost in damage, just being pipped by that Borzig there um, with Sabre, not doing faring as well with only 1,000 damage. However, we did more than anyone on the enemy team, which was very nice. And a lot of players on both teams got medals, which is very nice. So a big shout out to our Borzig for doing a lot of damage, and also our Carnarvon for having a decent game. Even our LTTB who actually managed to kill out 1800 damage in tone, second in XP. Very good there. Um, shout out to the IS3A on the enemy team, and also their Rymatel Borsi, who did some uh, solid performance, along with the IS6 and IS3, also fairly solid there. Um, to the rest of you, bad luck, but uh, maybe next time. So, in a direct report, we fired 25 shots of 20 hit, which means we've uh, fired with some good accuracy. Only 17 penetrate, which is um, not bad result for the 17 out of 20. And uh, damage again of 2,683. Received four hits with three penetrations and only one non-penetration. Only one hit was uh, bought by armor, and that was for 2,000... Sorry, 220 damage. And that would have been when the uh, Yang Panzer hit us in the distance. So we spotted two vehicles during that game. We damaged seven vehicles, almost half of the enemy team, and killed five of them. And uh, we got 526 assistance damage. Travel about two kilometers, which is uh, fairly far, but not far for a, like a medium tank. And uh, yeah, and we ended up with uh, 22,000. There we go, with me mispronouncing numbers again. 22,447. And uh, yeah, that's uh, worked out a very good round for us. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for me, and uh, hopefully I'm welcomed back, and uh, I'll be able to regain some of my subscribers I've lost. Although, luckily, I've not missed, lost too many, which is nice, so hope you guys stick around for the journey, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.